Welcome back to the red carpet. I'm standing here with the powerhouse of challenges, Laura Moritz. Hi, Laura. Hi, thanks for having me. Just kind of ran out of power tonight, didn't I? <laughs> no, oh my gosh, okay, I have to like, I have to say something about your final little moment at Redemption Island. You did not let anybody down, you did not go out in a fizzle. You went out like so strong and, and I was so proud of you and I know Sierra was too. It was like a beautiful moment between you guys. Don't ever, ever doubt that, please. <laughs> and I, cause I think you know that feeling of, you feel like you let everybody down. You really, it's disappointing. It's disappointing. And out of, it's funny because you even saw Sierra going the whole earlier in the show, my mom's got to go. My mom's got to go. And now the one time she's like, for the love of God, mom, please come back. And then I didn't come back. So honestly, even, even watching it again, even here, my true honest feeling is I still feel like I let her down. And I know, you I know. You didn't, you didn't. But it's, but that's what, why this game is so crazy because you still have a heart. You still have you know, I mean, it is it's, it is disappointing and there's a lot of uh, mental things you have to go through to get past that, but I don't think there's anybody watching the show that would doubt in any level that you didn't give it 150%. I mean, you were so much fun to watch, first of all, and, and your relationship with Sierra was beautiful. I mean, we were, we were all crying several times this season, um, and we've already heard, like, you said that your relationship couldn't possibly get any stronger, but... I don't know. It, it was such an amazing arc of your relationship with Sierra. It was watching my daughter turn into this amazing woman that, y you know, as a mother, you want nothing more than your kids to be kind and respectful and successful. And to watch my little girl grow up to be this smart, resilient, fearless, brave woman who she's never really done that that much. She's always, she was a teenage mom. So she didn't have that college experience. She didn't have that experience of going out into the world to like slowly transition into being this brave woman. She was forced into it. And so to see that she can do it, you saw it. I mean, it, it was, it was beautiful, honestly. And I, I mean, I said to everyone out there in, in the online world that there's no way I could ever vote my mom off. So I know that that must have been a very difficult decision for her. And the way you guys handled it was so beautiful and so hard for me to comprehend at the same time. It was like she held up a mirror to me and I held up a mirror to her. And she said, Mom, this is why your game isn't good. And this is why you're not going to go to the end. And I'm like, and this is why they're taking you to the end. And it was the most painful thing to tell my daughter, they're only taking you because they can beat you. And she's going, well, no one's going to take you. And and to see her being brave and saying, Mom, this is why. Wow. It was hard. And I think what you see is our flesh. I want to win. I want to win. And then I have the equally as strong tug of my heart. And you are watching the struggle of my flesh of I'm winning this game. And then my heart of wanting to put someone else first. I was a dead man. And love always wins. Yeah, that love is what always made, wins. This season was probably one of my favorite for that very reason. The relationships and how hard it is to separate that. In when you're a, a competitive person who is there to win, that it was. Uh, it love love always season. wins. Yeah, it does. And on that note, Laura, I'm so glad. It's so nice to talk to you. Good to talk to you. Thank you so much.